Hello. Today we're going to be demonstrating unlocking the HTC Raider 4G LTE. For the purposes of this demonstration, we're using an HTC phone that is locked to the Rogers network. So what we're going to do is we're going to utilize a website known as cellunlocker.net in order to perform this unlock. It is http colon slash slash www.cellunlocker.net Once we have the uh, page loaded, we are going to go to the right hand side where it says code lookup. We're going to go down to where it says select a make to begin. For the purposes of this demonstration, we'll be selecting HTC. Once that page loads, you'll see several pieces of very good information uh, explaining the process. Because we're going we're gonna to go ahead and scroll down to where we see step one. Check your HTC code availability instantly. What we're going to want to do first is select our model, which for this demonstration is a Raider 4G LTE. Now when unlocking this particular device, please make sure to notice there are two Raiders listed a 4G LTE and then just a standard Raider. This one is the LTE model. Then we're going to pick the network that the HTC is locked to. In this case it is Rogers of Canada. And then we're going to need to enter the IMEI which is the identifier of the phone. So what we're going to do to get the IMEI is we're going to go to the phone We're going to pull up the dial pad of the phone. We're going to dial star pound zero six pound. Excuse me, I dialed it incorrectly there. That will give us the IMEI number of the device, which we will now enter into the page, into the form on the page. And then we're going to hit look for code. We'll wait just a few moments while it verifies the IMEI. Uh, usually it's very quick as you can see. Now once the page loads it'll say the IMEI number is valid and ready for processing. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to double check and make sure that we did not mistype the IMEI into the uh, system. We're going to validate that it is the same as the phone. It is an HTC Raider 4G LTE locked to Rogers. And of course we see the price here. Now, after that, we'll move on to step two, if that information is correct, where we will put in our information. We'll notice we put our first name, our last name, email address. You can enter your phone number and if you happen to have a partner code. After that, you'll hit place order. Again, it gives you a chance to review your information to ensure that you have the proper name, spelling, email address. That's very important because that's where you will receive your unlock code. Uh, verify the IMEI again, network lock, make and model. Then you'll want to come down, you'll want to read the terms and conditions. If you agree to those, select it and select unlock now. Once the page loads, you'll see if you have a PayPal account, you can use that. If you do not have a PayPal account and wish to use either a Visa, MasterCard, Discover, or an American Express, please fill out the following form, review and continue. Once that is complete, you will receive a receipt from CellUnlocker.net letting you know that yes, they did receive your payment and they are processing your request. You will then receive an email with the instructions as well as your unlock code. Now when you receive this email you will want to verify again that your IMEI is correct, that it was done correctly. You'll see your unlock code and then they will have instructions that will tell you how to unlock the phone. Okay, so in this particular case what we need to do is we need to come down and we want to make sure that the phone is not in airplane mode and Wi-Fi is not active. 
Now at this particular time this phone does have Wi-Fi active so I will need to turn off the Wi-Fi in order to be able to unlock the device. So now you notice that we do have the X showing that we do not have service. We also do not have Wi-Fi. Okay. Now what we will do to input the instruction or input the code is we will need to turn on the phone with a non-accepted SIM card. In the case of this is an AT&T SIM card which I will now put into the phone so that we can unlock it. Removing the Rogers SIM card, putting the AT&T SIM card into the phone. Okay, once the phone comes up, powers back on, it should prompt for the unlock code. So, wait just a moment while the phone powers back up. And I will let you know at this time that um, if you are having any issues while you're trying to process this, um, you can visit the support center at the main cellunlocker.net site. Uh, most of the issues can be solved using the troubleshooter or the knowledge base. There's a lot of very, very uh, helpful information there. If you still can't unlock your device, you can submit a ticket in the, in the contact us section of the website. Uh, they normally respond within 24 hours. Okay, so now when we come in here, it prompts me for the SIM network unlock pin, which in this case was sent to me in the email. Once I unlock it, you see here it's successfully unlocked from the network rebooting. So now the phone is going to reboot uh, where it will be unlocked once it has powered back up. Also, uh, in your email that you receive, uh, there will be some basic troubleshooting uh, information for you uh, at the bottom. Uh, so be sure to read the entire email that uh, you are sent from cellunlocker.net. Okay, so once the phone has powered back up, please note that uh, it is no longer prompting for the unlock code. Uh, currently it is now active with the uh, new SIM card from AT&T. So at this point you're free to use this phone on any network. It's no longer locked to Rogers. And just say thank you to cellunlocker.net for doing such a great job.